One of my buddies works at an investment firm on Wall Street. When he's interviewing brokers to join his team, he always asks the same trick question to see how they'll handle it. In his office, there's this window, and it looks like it should open, but instead it's sealed shut. So in the middle of the interview, he says to the candidate, hey, can you do me a favor and open that window over there? Uh, it's really hot in here. Then he watches to see how the guy deals with a seemingly impossible task. Is he going to make an excuse and give up? Or is he going to find a solution? Almost every one of them, he tells me, pushes and pulls at the window with all his might for a minute or so. And then he turns around and says, geez, uh, this w I think this window's stuck. No way it's opening. So this one guy he's interviewing uh, finally gives him an answer he was seeking. After a minute or so of pushing at the window, the candidate picks up a chair, lifts it over his head, and gets ready to chuck it right through the glass. And he says to my friend, uh, how badly do you want this window opened? That guy nailed it. He found a solution that would open the window. He persevered. Here's one more tricky question I know a lot of managers will use, especially uh, if you're going on a sales uh, rep interview. They'll say, sell me this pen. How would you answer that one? Would you answer the same uh, as practically every other applicant and start talking about how great the pen is, how beautiful it is, the design, and how nice it writes? Or would you give a more create, a creative answer like this one? Congratulations, you just won our $10 million lottery, and here's your winning ticket. I'll give you five minutes to authorize the back of this, uh, otherwise I'm going to pick another winner. Unfortunately, I have the only pen in the office, and I'll tell you what, I'll sell it to you for 100 bucks. I absolutely love that. Anyway, if you do get a tricky, uh, unexpected question in an interview, say, can I take a minute to think about this? Then take a breath and really think through the answer from the hiring manager's point of view. What does he want to hear? A boring and dull answer or a creative and interesting one? Think out of the box, then give it your best shot. Have you ever been on the receiving end of a really difficult interview question? How'd you handle it? Please share your thoughts below.